For the holidays, a soup kitchen needs your help. One of the freezers at a community cooperative in Fort Myers is dying and they need to move out all the food. Yeah, the freezer is filled with Thanksgiving food, including the turkeys, and they need your help to move it this morning. Wink News reporter Ash Patel live at Community Cooperative for us along MLK Boulevard there. Asha, what time do people need to stop by if they can help? They need the help in 30 minutes at 10 o'clock because they need to move thousands of pounds of food that's in a freezer in here. The condenser, they say, is failing, and they found that out at 7 p.m. and said that they need the volunteers fast. And it's a busy morning here at Community Cooperative. Let's walk here carefully. There's a lot going on. They're preparing food for Thanksgiving. There's broccoli and veggies in here, chicken. And there are several volunteers already here, but they are going to be moving thousands of pounds of food starting at 10 o'clock. And look what we have here. We have the mayor this morning chopping up some tomatoes. Mayor Kevin Anderson, why are you doing this this year? Well, you know, it's Thanksgiving. I've done this every year since I've been elected because um, I'm thankful for what I and my family have. And I'm well aware of the issues that this community faces and it's just my way of giving that little lecture back to hopefully keep make this a better community. Fantastic. And what, what have you been chopping? Uh, we were talking earlier. You said you did a lot of chopping this morning. Chopping tomatoes right now, and I think pretty soon we're going to move on to peppers. All right. Fantastic. Thank you so much for and speaking with me. <laughs> yeah, he says he still has all 10 of his fingers. He's been doing this every year. Well, good. Be careful. Now, again, they are calling for volunteers at 10 this morning to move thousands of pounds of food that's going to be served for Thanksgiving. So this is going to be at Community Cooperative. I'm live in Lee County. Ash Patel. Thank you.